All right, today's the day, and what do we have here? A rocket motor outside the rocket. How did it get out of the rocket? Let's go take a look. Two, one. Maybe we should stop right there and uh, take a step to look back and see how this whole thing began. And while I'm doing this, I'll let you see how this whole thing was built. But this kind of came about as a, a look into this COVID-19 thing going around and most of the states canceling their 4th of July activities. Especially here in Oregon, we have a governor that is one of those happy to uh, shut things down. So without the big fireworks displays going on and uh, maybe just little homebound celebrations, I thought time to build another rocket. Now these rockets are something that I've been doing for, uh, I guess, probably about 35 years, ever since I've been married. And we lived in San Diego, had some friends there that we started building these uh, rockets with. These are just um, what they call sugar rockets. The fuel is made mostly out of uh, sugar and potassium nitrate. And we've developed some other things, some additives to go with it until I've gotten a pretty successful motor. Of course, sometimes every time you build one of these rockets, it's just a matter of uh, pushing the specific impulse of that propellant just a little more until you uh, lose them. Anyway, like I said, we thought we would uh, build one of these rockets real quick, just so we'd have something to do, something a little more interesting on the 4th of July. But as was kind of a last minute thing, it was kind of a idea that just sprung into my mind. I had lost another rocket about a year ago, so this had to be started from scratch. And just gonna build kind of a simple uh, throwaway rocket, we'll say a sewer pipe rocket, maybe you might call them. So just use the piece of drainage pipe, some fins made out of some foam core. Nozzle, of course, you see here, just turned out of some cedar. And put it all together just with some expanding urethane foam. Of course, if you've been watching the Arate Supercar Project, you know that lately I've been doing some parts of the car with foam. And then, of course, uh, get some rocket propellant and load that rocket motor. And this is post of, most of what you've seen is just building it. And here's the finished rocket. And here's a video by my son showing the flight. Okay, July 4th, 2020. We are all gathered together to watch dad die. No, just kidding. Watch a rocket launch go off. The big one. I mean, that's a pretty good way to die. I'm not gonna lie. You gotta choose a way? All right, this frame rate and resolution, I can only film for 10 minutes, so. I should probably do it. <laughs> Is there like a countdown? We or have fire extinguishers and uh, a sprayer with water for wherever this baby lands. <laughs> Almost killed the cow last time. Yeah. Is there a parachute in this one? Ooh. <laughs> You know the difference between a rocket and a missile is? A parachute. <laughs> if you stuff a loose one at the top, that's never gonna come out just for insurance reasons. <laughs> ah, it didn't work. Parachute didn't deploy. Got fire extinguishers. Ooh, a nice lead acid battery. Should I connect the cables and see what happens? No, that's that's not nice. This is full of water, I hope. Could be full of gasoline, you never know. Dad is, uh, I assume he is taking these little, I forget what they're called. They're like two wires that almost meet. And where they almost meet is a little thing of black powder. When you send electrical signal through it, it lights the black powder. So you don't have to light a fuse or anything. You just connect the battery, oh, this battery. And, uh, and away it goes. So dad always waits to the last second and then uh, puts it together. It looks to be like a five and a half foot rocket. Guess we'll see where dad's when dad stands up. You have the three poles that it fits in between because there's three fins. But then dad has like a, well you probably can't see it on the camera, but there's a thin piece of wire. I can't even see it on the camera. It kind of ties them together. 
the rocket takes off, it just takes the loop of wire with it. It is the most reliable way to make it happen. All right, is this it, Dad? Okay. It shouldn't take much, right? Yeah. Oh, that baby went to pieces. Oh, oh, there's a, a fragment. No, it's the whole rocket. <laughs> wow, there's some fragments <laughs> and some smoke. <laughs> All right, everybody run! Back inside before the cops come. Let's go. Is anyone else's eyes burning? I feel like the smoke got me. Okay. What is it? Mom. <laughs> and drop the camera. Okay, we are first on the scene. Where did it land? Is it on the other side? Well, wow, right on the peas. Looks like someone just leaned it against it. Is this where the motor was? Yeah. Hey, don't move it. That is crime scene. <laughs> that's crime scene, son. Those cabbages are looking nice. The motor went up through the roof. Is that what happened? The motor, too strong, burst its bindings and just gutted its mother. Run, mom, run. Oh. Let me see. He's got to make sure the motor's not burning something. If it comes down red hot, a little bit of flame. Is this the same phone as you? Nope. Because that's so confused right now. Like, what how do you, you, you turn off? What did you think of the rocket launch, Noni? Turn off. It's on the other side. It did. Underneath the volume button. It did. Well, now it did. <laughs> um, it scared me. The noise, I completely forgot to camera because I was so scared by the noise. You didn't film it? I was like, ah! <laughs> nope, you and then I was like, oh! You should have started before this noise. I did, okay. but then I didn't follow the rocket. You That's should point at it. I can see it in my videos. Oh my God. It's okay. Ooh, those are pretty. Don, what do you think of the rocket launch? That was great. It actually scared me less than most rockets because after it like <laughs> shredded to bits, I was like, that wouldn't kill anybody. What was that, Em? You should go back in the video and you can see it. You can see where the motor went on the video. This is live news coverage, son. We can't go back. <laughs> I got the very half of it, first half of it, pretty good. Let me go back. Start over. Megan, what did you think of the rocket launch? It's a lot better than last year. <laughs> what well, what happened last year? Oh, was it a cow? <laughs> that was that was awesome. What are you talking about? <laughs> Take a brief scenic trip. Those? Yeah, I lost it. Whoa. Mom is out in the field recovering the wide angle camera, probably seeing if there's any fire on the ground. Dad has left long ago to track down the elusive motor. Right from the launch site, right over there. So, on postpartum of this thing, the nozzle is completely intact and the plug is intact so we did not have a motor failure we could have had well obviously we had some propellant come out in chunks we could see those in the streaks in the sky but that was not our failure it looked like it was an airframe failure well anyway that's the story of our 4th of July launch um, certainly not a failure. If it leaves the ground, that is a successful day. Of course, if we had had more time to uh, cure the epoxy, maybe do a little another layer on them, we might have held them hold together. 
but I think that's what it was, a failure of the airframe, probably around the fins where they were epoxied on. Anyway, this is a new format I'm going to follow. These videos will post on odd days with the Arate Supercar Project. Of course, always posting on Thursday right before noon. Anyway, thanks for stopping by and catching this video. I hope you come back and see us again.